Okay, so we're recording everyone. Hello and welcome to another episode of Democracy Diaries. And today we have with us uh, Maya, our head of intelligence, and Benny, our head of partnerships. And um, we're going to tell you a little bit about what we've been doing and the exciting things that we have coming up. So um, Maya, maybe, how are you doing? Do you want to take it away? Hey, hey, sure. So as you probably know, um, we are in the very difficult period with uh, COVID and hence we see a lot of disinformation flowing and uh, change of attitudes of people. So we already have seen with our monitoring system that uh, people attitudes towards the COVID and towards the vaccine are changing. Um, therefore, we're thinking on how to work with that. So uh, we already did the report on the how COVID is uh, basically communicated in the social media. So I'm happy to, um, to provide you with that if you need it. And also we are right now dealing with another issue as we are Alliance for Europe, European Union is super important for us. And uh, two governments, uh, Polish and Hungarian ones, decided to threaten the European Union uh, with the veto of the budget regarding the rule of law issue. And that's why we also did some searching and monitoring of uh, veto around the system. And we are thinking on how we can support it with the behavioral changes. We are uh, having a tool to monitor the, the internet, to monitor what the opposition is saying, to monitor what is happening in the online debate. So we need to act right now. We need to spread the positive messages. And we need to show that uh, the European Union is something that all of us citizens of Europe, all the Europeans need. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, and of course, people can always uh, get in touch with us, like you said, uh, about any of these activities to get involved. Benny, do you want to bring things up from your side? How are things in Munich? Oh, thanks, Ambri. Absolutely. So. Um, the other big thing we've been working on and that we're super pumped about is the European Hub for Civic Engagement and that is actually going to launch in January. So the Hub is a tech tool and it connects and empowers and it, it, it enables the collaboration of you know, a, a, long, a lot of CSO and a lot of um, activists across borders in Europe. And we've brought together really big testing groups, so very uh, many of the um, you know, biggest CSOs that are in the European scene are actually already on there and testing it out and helping us designing the user experience. And we're very proud of having brought that huge group together. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going brilliantly um, and it's launching in January. And if you're interested in, in joining that group, you should definitely get in touch. We're looking forward to working with you. Um, and yeah, just to tell you a bit more about it, it's going to be a very nice and shiny and, and cool digital tool, but it's actually based on something that is very old timey and um, from the olden days, so to speak. So it's based on the bonfire. It is based on this idea of a communal space that everybody sits around. And the way we have designed it is that whenever a certain geographical point intersects with an interest, automatically what will be created is this bonfire and all of the people who have a stake in this conversation can then meet together and you know exchange and and and, and talk but also sort of create a launching pad for actual project work uh, i've been uh, blown away by, <laughs> by the the energy of uh, of you two um we should do this more often i think um And then maybe just to bring in another tidbit from, from my side here, um, we've also been working with the Citizen Takeover Europe Coalition, um, which is a group of civil society um, that wants to make sure that citizens' voices are heard in European Union decisions and that we have a citizen-driven and citizen-led conference on the future of Europe. So the Citizen Takeover Coalition is going to be organizing an event uh, which will last from December to January. We've decided to stretch it uh, across the holiday season. 
Um, wow. We'll have a first day um, on the 15th of December where we'll be talking about the Conference on the Future of Europe itself, uh, what our vision is for it. And then in January, we will have uh, a lot of interactive sessions with storytellers, communicators, creators about how we talk about the future of Europe. What is the story we're going to be telling about it? And then we'll have, just to wrap it all up, we will have a hearing with members of the European Parliament and uh, a, a citizen lab kind of participation exercise. So that's all coming up and you're very welcome to register here. We have also some more hub and new workshops that we will be updating you about. You'll you'll have a chance to see more of our faces and we look forward to see yours. Um, so thank you all guys.